This is the second of three videos in the Flexim HC Urgent Care tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to add patients to your model. Patients are the driving force of your model. Typically, we are interested in seeing how several hundred patients over several weeks or months interact with the office, but it would be impractical to add them all individually. Instead, we are going to create a template of a patient called a patient track. The first tab is the collection of all tracks in the model. Here we can add and name the different tracks. For instance, we could have a sick visit patient, or a broken bone patient, or a basic checkup patient. For now, we'll create just a sick visit template. On the activities tab, you define a list of activities for the patient. Let's revisit the patient activity list we created in video one. The patient will enter, register, wait, get vitals taken, have a consultation, be discharged and exit. Let's add these activities to the patient track. Click on the add button. The panel on the right now has several options we can set. First, we'll choose a milestone. Milestones have a couple useful purposes. First, they are used to generate charts and statistics so that you can more easily measure the results of your activities. Second, they are used for your convenience, allowing you to quickly choose an activity from the list. Even though there are lots of milestones you can choose from, you can also type whatever you like into the milestone marker field. In this tutorial, we'll use the predefined milestones, but it should be understood that if you use a custom milestone name, it will still generate the same charts and statistics with the name you define. From the drop-down box, choose Arrival. The activity name has automatically been changed to correspond to the milestone. You can change the name to be whatever you want, but you should leave the number and underscore at the beginning. The numbers are used to identify the order of activities and FlexMHC won't work properly without them. Now click on the activity type box. Choose Patient Travels Unattended. This means that the patient is going to move from one area to another by themselves, in this case from the entrance to the registration desk. For this activity, we also need to specify where the patient is going in the Patient's Next Area box. These options are created based on the objects in the office layout. Let's choose Registration Area. The second activity is Registration. Click Add. For the milestone, pick Register. For the activity type, pick Process. A process activity means that the patient takes time to do something, and it usually involves a member of the office staff. In this case, the patient will register with the help of the clerk. The process time box is where you put how many minutes this will take. With a little know-how, you can make this time be variable, or you can simply put in a number. Let's make it 10 minutes. Now under staff, we'll add the staff member needed for this activity. Click add, then click on select. Choose the clerk group. If we pick a specific clerk, then only that clerk can help with this type of patient. But by picking a group, anyone in the group can do the work. Finally, in the process location, pick Registration 1, which is the model's name of the registration desk. The third activity is waiting in the waiting room. The waiting room is a special kind of object, which we'll talk about later. The next activity is getting vitals taken, or a triage. Add an activity and choose triage for the milestone. This activity type is escort patient, then process. This is like a combination of the two activities we've already done. First, the patient will move from the waiting area to the triage room. Then the nurse will spend time working with the patient. The only difference here is that the nurse is also required to escort the patient to the triage room. For the patient's next area, choose the triage area. Make the process time 15 minutes. For the staff member, we'll say anyone from the nurse's group. Next, the nurse will escort the patient to a bed. There is a milestone for this called bed placement. The activity type is the same as before. Set the next area to the bed area and the process time to one minute. Under staff, choose same as above activity. This means that the same nurse that did the triage will be the one to escort the patient again. If we choose nurse's group again, then a different nurse could be assigned to be the escort, which isn't realistic. The next activity is the doctor consultation. This milestone is an MD assessment and the activity type is process. We'll spend 10 minutes with the patient and we'll need a physician here. The process location should be set to the patient's location. And lastly, it's time for the patient's departure. We'll choose the milestone to be departure, 
the activity type to be patient travels unattended, and the next area to be the patient exit area. The patient track is complete. Now let's look at the waiting room. The other areas of the office are designed for working with patients one-on-one, -on -one, but the waiting room is a holding area for a large number of patients. Patients can move in and out of the waiting room several times in one office visit. Double-click on the waiting room to open its properties window, and let's specify when the patient might go to the waiting room. We do this on the Connections tab. The Input Connections are places the patient is coming from, while the Output Connections are places the patient is going after waiting. First, the Inputs. A patient may enter the waiting room right after coming into the office, so we'll select the patient arrivals. They may also wait after registering, so we'll also select Registration. Now the outputs. If the patient went into the waiting room as soon as they entered, they will still need to register, so they will have to leave the waiting room to go to registration. If the patient has already registered, then they are waiting for a nurse to escort them to triage, so that is our second output option. The model is now ready to run. The next video will show you how to run the model and analyze data.